Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I want to show you how to use the Ring Shifter plugin to sidechain modulate um, other instruments. We're gonna specifically we're gonna modulate our bass and our strings up here with the sidechain input coming from a uh, drum pattern I have here coming from battery. Um, you can use this with pretty much anything. You can use it with drum loops too if you want. Um, you can use at least in Logic 10.3 now you can sidechain input MIDI tracks as well as audio tracks. So let's just uh, listen to what we have uh, right now. I'll turn off the ring shifter on the bass here. Uh, it's just sort of like a hard beat with a filtered drum loop underneath it with a really basic um, quarter note bass idea. I'm just using the ES2 um, and I'm using the trans lead setting in the ES2 with the FM turned up a bit for a little bit more bite. And then the strings are just an alchemy patch called classic analog or classic pop analog strings and then I'm more or less just um, filtering out some of the low end and then boosting the high end on those so it's real simple right now I want to create something that's got a lot more rhythm and drive and punch to it so all right so let's see what this sounds like as is Okay, so the big wave kit and the bended knee um, loop are pretty hard hitting sounding, but the strings in the bass are pretty legato, pretty smooth sounding. The bass has got a little, you know, a bit of distortion to it, a little bit of crunchiness to it. But what I essentially want to do is I want to make the bass and strings pulse with the drums, specifically the big wave kit. I'm going to mute the loop just for now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to mute the strings as well. And on the bass, um, track we're going to add the ring shifter and this is under you can find this under modulation and then ring shifter and i'll load it up in stereo now the ring shifter um does a lot of really cool um ring modulation lfo envelope follower modulation um so it's this is in no way a full tutorial for the ring shifter it would take a, probably a big long 40 minute video to do that um specifically i want to explore the ring shifter side chain modulation options actually just using a couple of its presets. A lot of people have played around with the Groove Shadows and the Warped presets, but a lot of people jump into the sidechain input and nothing really happens. That's because you have to give the ring shifter a modulation source to draw from to modulate the material. So I'm just gonna choose, um, for now, I'm gonna choose under the sidechain input options, I'm gonna choose envelope mix number two. Let's go with number two. And I'll go back and forth between these so you can hear the difference. And so now every single time the drums hit or there's like a, an attack or a transient in the drums, it's going to affect how the ring shifter uh, modulates the signal. So let's see what this sounds like just with the bass and, uh, and the drums. So that's pretty cool. Let's try um, number one. There's a little more staccato. Um, let's try the the third one down in the uh, the presets. This one's called LFO Envelope Mix. This one seems to uh, start longer and then get shorter and then go back to sort of like a legato sound. Let's try the sync delay. Let's try that one. Yeah, it's more of like a almost like a percussive sound. Uh, let's try straight side chain. See what that does. Yeah, that one we're more or less just hearing a tiny little sliver of the, each bass note every single time the kick drum and snare drum hit. I really like um, the second preset here. So let's give that a shot. All 
All right, cool. So we want to do the same thing to the strings. And, and one way to do this would just be to move the ring shifter over to the strings as well. Choose the same preset, choose the same modulation source. Another way to do it is if you, if you have multiple instruments that you want to be affected by the ring shifter is you can send all of those instruments to a bus. So I'm going to create an out uh, on the output here. I'm going to send these all to bus one. And then I'm going to actually move the ring shifter over to the aux track. And I'll just rename this track RSSC or ring shifter sidechain. So both of these instruments are coming into this aux track and then being affected by the ring shifter. So you could uh, you can hear the strings there in there too. They're just a little softer. Let's hear what this all sounds like now with the uh, the ring shifter on there. Now, one thing I want to do with both of the drum uh, loops as well as the the aux track is I want to add some reverb to these to give it a little bit more space and give it just make it sound bigger. So on all of these, I'm going to create a send over to bus two. I'll pull up the send amount. And this is just going to be like a reverb track. So I'll just uh, call this verb. I'll throw a space designer on there. And let's go under plates, medium plates. And let's use the soft plate. Pull the reverb signal up a little bit. And so it sounds a little deeper. I'm going to pull the sample rate down to one half. And I'm going to kick in the filter and make this a low pass filter. So it's like a big, deep, um, booming reverb, not like a bright reverb. Actually, now that I hear it, I like the band pass better. All right, so let's give all that a listen with the reverb in now. Now, another thing you can do with the um, the ring shifter aux track is if you want this to have a little bit more motion to it, you don't want it to completely follow the drums. Um, you can add like like a delay to it. You can use uh, you can try the delay designer. I think it might be a little too complicated, but we can use like the stereo delay and make all of those little pulsing uh, echoes that we're hearing uh, coming from the, the rhythmic idea we're hearing coming from the ring shifter. We can create delays out of those. So I'm going to filter both the left and the right channel in the stereo delay and give it two different values. We'll maybe do one as a quarter and then maybe one as a half note. And then maybe I'll use like a, a different routing here. Maybe we'll do like a ping pong left, right. So you can hear that little pulsing beat in the background there. And let's try it out with the, um, the first preset and see what different tone we get out of it. Yeah, almost like that one better. You can also play with the uh, the output dry wet, so you can blend the dry signal, the legato signal, with the uh, modulated signal, so we can get something that's not so um, not so choppy sounding.
So that's how to use the sidechain input presets in the ring shifter plugin in Logic Pro 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.